Alexis Shania from Creative Arts and Music Center. Welcome to Quick Draw, our free online drawing class for all of you to enjoy. We draw everything from Disney characters to cute animals to Pokemon. Each lesson is a new surprise. Today we are going to be drawing stuff for Valentine's Day. All you need are, is a pencil with an eraser and a blank piece of paper. Now let's get drawing. So this is our Valentine's Day episode, which is super exciting. Um, we're going to be drawing a duck and a bunny, and they're going to be giving a valentine to each other. So to start, we're going to be drawing the duck. So the duck's going to be on the left side. And I'm going to draw this duck by drawing a circle for the head first. And again, with my circles, I just go over and over again. And then on the left side, I'm going to draw a line coming out. Just diagonally to the left and then curving it at the bottom and bringing it back into the head. And this is just going to be the basic shape for the duck, so it's easier for us to draw later. All right, now we're going to move on to the rest of the duck. So I'm going to start with the duck's face. So at the top of the duck's head, I want to draw these two little, little oval shapes for the little feathers on his head. Bring this line down. And now we're going to draw the beak or the bill of the duck or the little mouth. So I'm going to draw a curved line going up and back down with a point. And this is going to make the duck look super happy that it's Valentine's Day. <laughs> Another curve on the bottom and then cap it off for the bottom of the beak. And I'm going to draw this upside down U shape or this little hill shape for the eye. So it's kind of closed, but he's super happy. I'm drawing a little oval for a little blushy. And you can just darken the rest of this head. Now for the wing, I'm going to be drawing this line coming out, curving it in the body, creating this round shape for the wing to come out. And you kind of just want to create this feather shapes. Doesn't have to be perfect, just create these round little bumps all the way around for the feather. And you can do two layers if you want to add some detail. Then we're going to go to the back of this duck and draw some of those fun hill shapes for the tail. I'm just going to do like three or four you guys can do this however you want. Just kind of get fun with it, you know. Art's about having fun. Now I'm going to draw this U shape at the bottom for the foot to come out of. And I'm going to draw two lines coming down. And then two little lines coming out from that for the little foot. And I'm also going to draw two more lines going out to the left for the back foot. And two lines going down. Now I'm going to draw the valentine in the middle by drawing a heart. So I'm going to draw a big heart in the middle with this curved line going up, creating a point in the middle so you can draw another line coming up from there, back down. And you can do another one in the middle if you want. And you can decorate this valentine however you guys want. Decorate it how you would give it to a friend or your family. And I'm just going to do these little frilly bumps all around. You know, Valentine's Day is not just about having a boyfriend or a girlfriend, guys. Of course, it's about loving and appreciating your family and friends. So for this Valentine's Day, you know, just tell someone you love them. Alright, now we're going to draw a little bunny on the other side. So this duck is giving it to his friend. So we're going to draw the head for the bunny. So I'm going to draw the circle next to the heart. Again, just going over and over again. Then I'm going to darken this line for the forehead and draw a line coming out to the left and curving it back in to the rest of the head. And I'm just going to create a little triangle for the nose and color that in darker. 
And under that, I'm gonna make a little smiley shape, just a little U shape to show that this bunny is very happy. And a circle for the eye on the right of that. Let's color it in darker. Now, of course, bunnies have really long ears, so I'm going to go to the top of the head, draw this long hill shape going up on the right side, and another one on the left side. Then you can kind of just darken the rest of the head. Now underneath this, I'm going to draw a curved line for the belly, and a line next to that to separate the belly from the rest of the body. And I'm going to draw the back now. So I'm going behind the head and I'm drawing this curved line going down, then curving it in the back and bring it in. Then you can kind of just create a straight line on the bottom and curve it for the foot. Create two curves, one for the foot and one for the leg. This is looking super cute so far. Now I'm going to the top where the shoulder would be, just right under the head, and I'm going to draw this round shape coming out and back in for the arm, erasing a little bit in the middle just to make it cleaner. If you want, you can even add two little lines for the little fingers on the bunny. Then in the back, I want to draw this little poofy shape. So I'm going to draw these curves kind of like a cloud, just like randomly for the puff on the bunny's tail. And lastly, I'm going to draw these big, tall, upside down U's for the, for the inside of the ears, for the inside of the ear, and then I'm going to cap it off at the bottom. And you don't have to do this on the other side since it's the back of the ear. But yeah, now we have a little duck and it's giving its valentine to the bunny. And yeah, thank you guys so much for joining. Thanks for joining me for Quick Draw. I hope you all enjoyed the lesson today. If you have any thoughts you'd like to share on what you'd like to learn next, please let me know in the comments below. I would love to see your art too, so have your parents share your art on social media and tag us at Canvas and Keys. We might even feature you in a future episode of Quick Draw. Don't forget to visit campcenter.org to learn more about our programs at Camp Center, including unlimited online art classes and on-site options for students of all ages. See you next time on 